Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to explain you how to set up your system of choice to play PlayStation 2 games online with other players, using JackX as an example. The setup is very simple and similar throughout the systems, so it will take very little time to get you up to speed. First things first, JackX can be played on a regular fat PlayStation 2, a slim PlayStation 2, a backwards compatible PlayStation 3 and even on the PCSX2 emulator with cross-play enabled and cross-save of your online accounts stats between systems. The game cannot be played online on PlayStation 4 or 5. The process is the same if you're playing on any types of real hardware, while for PCSX2 it's similar but adds a small step. I put timestamps on the video for you to click on the system of your choice. PCSX2 has two different methods to connect, but they both work fine, though method 1 is recommended. Let's get right into it, starting with real hardware. The game is playable online on original hardware with almost no caveats. If you're using a backup copy of the game, you'll be required to use a DNAS bypass patch, basically a cheat code to skip online verification. If you need that, join our Discord server and we'll provide you with it. Also, if your PS2 is mod chipped, you'll have to deactivate the mod before you can play online. If you're using an original Fat PlayStation 2, you'll require a network adapter accessory. This accessory must be attached behind the system so that you can attach an Ethernet cable. Slim PlayStation 2s and PlayStation 3s already have an Ethernet port on the back. Remember to have a memory card plugged in with some space to save your network configuration. In the game's menu, select Exhibition Online. The game will prompt you to start the network configuration utility. Press X to confirm. The game will deload and the network configuration utility will boot up. Press on add setting and select your memory card slot. Keep moving forward. When you're asked about your user ID and password of your provider, select Not Required. When you're asked about setting the IP address, select Auto. When you're asked how you want to set the DNS address, select Manual. Now, you must manually input the primary DNS. I leave on the screen the two DNSs we currently use, but it's important for this step that you join your respective game's community and be up to date regarding what DNS is being used. This DNS I'm typing right now might not be working any longer uh, in the future, so it's important that you always go check and stay up to date. Leave the secondary DNS to the default. Set a name for your configuration. Save the configuration. Let the utility go through the connection test, which should complete successfully. Go back to the main menu, and hit circle and then quit to leave the utility. JackX will reboot. On the main menu, go back to Exhibition Online, and select your network configuration. After the DNAS screen, you'll be asked to create a new account to use for the game. Reminder that usernames with the offensive terms will be banned by the staff. Then select a password. You can select to save the password so you don't have to rewrite it every time you log in. After the connecting to lobby message, you'll be presented with the, with the online policy agreement. Select accept and press square to move forward. You'll be presented with a welcome message then allowed to choose whether you want to play single player or split screen multiplayer and then you'll be at the main online menu from here you can create a game to host a lobby or find game to search for existing lobbies and that's all there is to it you're now ready to play jackx online have fun now, for emulator, the game is playable on the PCSX2 emulator, with the only caveat that if emulator players are involved in a lobby, there will be a bit more luck during races. The setup is almost completely identical to real hardware, save for an extra step you need to go through first. 
boot up PCSX2, but don't run the game yet. Click on Settings, Network and HDD. Under Ethernet, check the box next to Enabled. At Ethernet Device Type, select Sockets. And at the Ethernet Device, select either Ethernet or Wi-Fi depending on the connection method you're using. From this point forward, the process is one-to-one -to, -one to that of real hardware. So I just showed that again if you haven't seen that already. Remember to have a memory card plugged in with some space to save your network configuration. In the games menu, select Exhibition Online. The game will prompt you to start the network configuration utility. Press X to confirm. The game will deload and the network configuration utility will boot up. Press on Add Setting and select your memory card slot. Keep moving forward. When you're asked about your user ID and password of your provider, select Not Required. When you're asked about setting the IP address, select Auto. When you're asked how you want to set the DNS address, select Manual. Now, you must manually input the primary DNS. I leave on the screen the two DNSs we currently use, but it's important for this step that you join your respective game's community and be up to date regarding what DNS is being used. This DNS I'm typing right now might not be working any longer uh, in the future, so it's important that you always go check and stay up to date. Leave the secondary DNS to the default. Set a name for your configuration. Save the configuration. Let the utility go through the connection test, which should complete successfully. Go back to the main menu and hit circle and then quit to leave the utility. JackX will reboot. On the main menu, go back to Exhibition Online and select your network configuration. After the DNAS screen, you will be asked to create a new account to use for the game. Reminder that usernames with the offensive terms will be banned by the staff. Then select a password. You can select to save the password so you don't have to rewrite it every time you log in. After the connecting to lobby message, you'll be presented with the, with the online policy agreement. Select accept and press square to move forward. You'll be presented with a welcome message then allow to choose whether you want to play single player or split screen multiplayer and then you'll be at the main online menu. From here you can create a game to host a lobby or find game to search for existing lobbies and that's all there is to it. You're now ready to play JackX online. Have fun! There's actually a secondary method to run the game online on BCSX2. Uh, although it's not recommended as the first one allows you to create multiple configurations to select whenever you need. For example, when, a, when you're playing a different game or when a specific DNS isn't working correctly. This second method can be valid to try out uh, if, you're, if you will always play the same game and don't change DNS often, or if method 1 isn't working for you. Boot up PCSX2 and don't run the game yet. Click on Settings. Network and HDD. Under Ethernet, check the box next to Enabled. At Ethernet device type, select Sockets. At Ethernet device, select either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, depending on the connection method you're using. In the Intercept DHCP tab below, next to DNS1 address, enter the DNS you want to use manually. I leave on the screen uh, the two DNS we currently use, but it's important for this step that you join your respective game community and be up to date regarding what DNS is being used. This DNS I'm typing right now might not be working any longer in the future, so it's important that you always go check and be up to date. In the internal DNS tab, leave everything as default. The next steps are similar to real hardware, but with the difference of leaving everything to auto in the network configuration utility. Remember to have your iMemory card plugged in with some space to have your network configuration saved. 
Boot up the game. In the game's main menu, select Exhibition Online. The game will prompt you to start the network configuration utility. Press X to confirm. The game will deload and the network configuration utility will boot up. Press on Add Setting. Select your memory card slot. Keep moving forward. When you're asked about your user ID and password of your provider, select Not Required. When you're asked about setting the IP address, select Auto. When you're asked how you want to set the DNS address, select Auto. Then name your configuration however you wish. Save the configuration. Let the utility go through the connection test, which should complete successfully. Go back to the main menu and hit circle and quit to leave the utility. JackX will reboot. On the main menu, go back to Exhibition Online and select your network configuration. After the DNAS screen, you'll be asked to create a new account to use for the game. Reminder that usernames with the offensive terms will be banned by the staff. Then select a password. You can select to save the password so you don't have to rewrite it every time you log in. After the connecting to lobby message, you'll be presented with the, with the online policy agreement. Select accept and press square to move forward. You'll be presented with a welcome message, then allowed to choose whether you want to play single player or split screen multiplayer, and then you'll be at the main online menu. From here, you can create a game to host a lobby, or find game to search for existing lobbies, and that's all there is to it. You're now ready to play JackX Online. Have fun! Finally, some closing words. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or join the JackX Online Discord server to help you troubleshoot any problems you might have. Link in the description. As I've already said, it's very important that you join the community of the games you want to play to stay up to date with everything regarding the online scene. Last but not least, this, uh, this whole process you've been through uh, actually allows you to play not only JackX, but also the Russian and Clank uh, PS2 games online, uh, Russian and Clank 3 and Deadlocked, which is really cool. And that's all. Hope you're going to have a blast from the past, and I'll see you online.